Good morning, YouTube. So here is what I use as one of my camp boxes, but more importantly, this one actually stays in the truck permanently. So if I'm not on a trip, I'm just driving around day to day, whatever it is, I still use this. And I'm, we're going to go through why. I recently combined this. I used to have two front runner, uh, these soft pack boxes. And one was specifically for camping and cooking and whatnot. And one was specifically for survival equipment, first aid, things like that. I moved my first aid gear into a Blue Ridge Overland bag. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So that gave me enough room in here to kind of downsize and combine things. So let's just go through... Real quick, what I keep, and this this stays in the truck, so we're going to go, just starting on the top, have this Benchmade uh, fixed blade knife. It was a gift, and I honestly don't mind it. I, I like it a lot. It's, it's kind of that nice step between a pocket knife and an axe, so it just kind of lives on top here. This is a Magpul DACA document pouch, map pouch, whatever you want to call it. And what I really love about these, on most trips when you go to national parks, uh, tourist destinations, whatever, you end up with a lot of handouts, a lot of pamphlets. Uh, most states will give you free state maps if you go to a visitor center. Uh, I also keep maps for Canada, just various trips. So this turns into my trip planning document pouch. It's also good for receipts if you stay at campgrounds, um, you know, things like that. So that, that just kind of lives in here. Uh, it is a little cluttered. I probably should clean it out, but that's that. Moving along, you can kind of start seeing getting more into the camping, camping specific type things. On this left side, this is a Luma noodle, which is... Uh, 10 or 15 foot LED light strip, flexible light strip, and it's kind of fun. It just adds atmosphere to the camp. It comes with its own portable battery pack, and uh, it kind of looks like Christmas lights. So that's just a fun, fun thing. I don't use it every time I go camping, but it 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 is just kind of one of those fun gimmicky things. Uh, lantern. This is uh, made by Streamlight. I don't remember the model number, and let's see here. Yeah, all right. Well, it's made by Streamlight, and it's a lantern. It's a very bright lantern, and I really enjoy it. You can never have enough light at camp, especially when you're setting up in the dark. So that's that's the important takeaway there. Jetboil fuel. Very large jet boil fuel, I know, and a jet boil stove. As of right now, that's all I cook with. Um, I am interested in getting something bigger eventually, like a Scottle or a partner, partner steel stove, but as far as weight and the actual kinds of cooking that I do on trips, I have more of a backpacking background. So this, this is what I'm used to. It's easy. Uh, makes coffee really quick in the morning, so there you go. Take a jet boil. Uh, extra tent stakes. I haven't got my camper yet, so I still have to carry a tent. And ex so extra tent stakes just kind of live in this camp box because you tend to break those and lose them and whatnot. So going in here, this pouch I repurposed. Let's see if I can get it open. Basically, it has oral rehydration salts and cliff bars. So. You won't get fat, but you will survive. So those are kind of my survival snacks in case I get stranded somewhere. Uh, as far as you know, wet wipes for obvious reasons. Two bowls. I think you can guess why two. Take a friend camping. And these are really lightweight. Um, I'm pretty happy with them. I think these are. I think I bought these at REI. I don't remember if there's a brand. I want to say they're Sea to Summit, but don't quote me on that. Just buy a plastic bowl. I, I like these because they have that little cheesy thumb holder, so it's just it's easier to uh, 
to utilize. It's little things. So that's that. Um, on the same subject, I keep a Yeti lowball for an extra coffee cup slash whiskey cup and a Yeti beer koozie. I understand there's lighter, more affordable options, but uh, it's a fashion statement. So I carry uh, those two Yeti cups. This pouch, all these pouches are out of an old med bag that I got rid of. So that they basically would just Velcro insert into a med bag. And I, I save these, I use them because I think they're just great. I swear someday I will get a tripod to hold the phone while I'm filming. But, so this is the kitchen bag. So things like dish sponge, a uh, little MSR brush scraper for pots and pans, uh, titanium spork because weight saving is key. This is your standard MRE creamer, sugar, uh, toilet paper. Just always have that. Bic lighter. There is a million uses. This one is specifically for the stove. I keep other lighters in other places. This is a plastic spork for your friend that you kind of care about, but not titanium care about. Black pepper, because really, what else is there? Trash bags. Always take trash bags. You don't want to be the guy trying to stuff everything into a Walmart bag when you're out in camp. And... Palm olive dish soap, I know this isn't biodegradable uh, camp soap, I apologize. This is what I use. It's uh, probably a little bit of overkill, I just haven't downsized into a smaller bottle, and it fits. And then, let's see, what is uh, Stormproof Matches, and, oh yeah, blindly grab the knife. Uh, this is just a MSR uh, kitchen prep knife. It's pretty lightweight, and I just wanted a dedicated knife for food. You know, I got tired of using my, my dirty pocket knife to cut up uh, food. So, I'll just kind of get this stuff over here, kind of out of the way, and we'll dive back into the rest of this. So, the rest of this camp box, we have sunblock, bug spray, Glow sticks, 550 cord, and then here's a hammock from uh, Yukon Outfitters, as well as the hammock straps. So, do I use it occasionally? Yes. Uh, it's it's kind of fun um, just to have a hammock in camp. And then we'll go to this. This has been a work in progress for years, and I'm probably just going to do a separate video on this. But this is a old Blackhawk pouch that is my survival kit. If I just grab this and a bottle of water, I will be fine. Um, but as far as it's got everything fire starting. Uh, signaling, toilet paper, hand warmers, uh, just a ton of stuff in here. Some first aid, some survival, uh, some bug spray, uh, signaling panel, things like that. Basically, I would feel comfortable, like I said, with this and a bottle of water, I could make it through what I would have to, um, up to and including probably 72 hours, so... We'll do this in a separate video, but so that's pretty much everything outside of uh, sleeping bags, tents, whatnot. I'm just trying to keep everything consolidated, uh, and that's that's really enough stuff for me and one other person to go camping, provided they bring their own Yeti cup. So that's it. Thanks for watching.